I don't have an actual nightstand, which is why I've been using this chair to put my candles on. I like this set the best. It's called Desert Rain and it's by Park Studios. I'm just getting ready for bed right now. It has been a very long day. It's almost one in the morning right now and my sleeping schedule has gone to disaster. I know that I've talked about Believe's products a lot and that's because I honestly just really love them. This video is yet again sponsored by Believe. Thank you to Believe for working with me again. And this time around, I want to show you guys the Believe Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. The packaging is really pretty. I'm gonna apply this onto my skin. Towards the winter time, my skin tends to get a little bit more dry, which is why I feel like the Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask is great for your night routine. It is a unique jelly pudding sleeping mask that blankets and wraps around the contours of skin with a refreshing layer of intense hydration. Since it's an overnight mask, it rejuvenates and replenishes dull, dry, and fatigued skin with a lot of hydration for a smoother, more supple looking skin and healthy glow. And it's a great solution for if you have dullness, uneven texture, dryness, or redness. My skin is moist. Also, if you guys are doing some last minute planning on what to get your loved ones for the holidays, I feel like Belief products are a great choice. Now that I did my face, I'm just gonna put some lip balm. Do you guys see this? Michel jumped onto my face last night. And then he like dug his claws into my lips. And I was like, oh. Now I go to bed. I have been reading a lot of books lately. I've honestly read more books the past two, three months than I have in like years <laughs> but they've all been fiction because I don't have the brain cell capacity for non-fiction books yet but the book that I started today is called The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane it's been pretty good Breakfast. So this Blackpink inspired Pilates workout popped up onto my YouTube recommended. So I've been trying it out. It's actually kind of hard. It's only seven minutes, but I'm like out of breath by the end. <laughs> I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as yesterday, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not going anywhere. Do I look slightly more presentable? Drew this in my sketchbook and then I got it onto the canvas. And now I'm gonna do a base layer of phthalo blue before I make lunch. Thank you. 
made these tomato and egg and bok choy noodles for lunch. You guys know that I really like noodles. Today is going to be a very chill day with me. I'm going to do some painting, do some other work, that kind of stuff. Because I just need a day to relax. What shall I watch on YouTube? I'm gonna watch Where I Live, Jenny's new video called Home Decor, Fostering a Dog Updates. Vlog a day is number one. Didn't finish my lunch. I always do this. I just leave a little bit and I eat the rest throughout the day when I get hungry. But I'm gonna eat something sweet now. These lime flavored Chinese cookies are so good. Two for now. So I've been painting for like the past two and a half hours, two hours. I thought that I could paint the whole day away, but I can't because I totally forgot that I was working with oils. And now that I've done like the first layer, I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry a little bit before I can add on because otherwise everything is just gonna kind of like blend. I don't know why I'm waving my brushes. But yeah, I'm gonna stop painting for now. I'm kind of tired, so I don't know if I'm gonna go back to painting this today. This is a painting that I'm gonna finish. I realized that I don't really paint flowers, so I thought that this would be a good way to challenge myself. Along with this painting that I have to finish, I also have to finish this one. She's getting there. My brain has been recently a little bit creatively fried because I've just been working on this painting, that this painting. Off camera, I worked on kind of like the, the last shop update of the year. I made a few new necklaces, a few pairs of earrings, and I got my sticker sheets printed. This is how they turned out. I really like them. Oh my god, my fingers are dirty. So these are some of my favorite pictures that I took. Okay, the more I stare at this painting, uh, the more I dislike it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna finish this. Gonna share with you guys a little clothing haul of some new items that I bought the past few months. I needed a new puffer, so I got the Aritzia Super Puff in Matte Pearl. 
Um, hopefully this doesn't get dirty. But yeah, their puffers are decently priced and they're really warm, which is really important because it's getting really cold now. But it's cute, it's so warm. I also got this fluffy jacket. This is by a Chinese indie designer. And lately I've been really into like browns, creams, whites, and grays. Last year I was really into green, but this year I'm into another color. I still love green though. But this is really warm. I wore it for my photo shoot and it kept me cozy. I also got this really cute white lace top. This is by a Chinese independent designer. I cannot wait to wear it when it is warm enough. This top is by Redonsi. They're based in the UK, I believe. This is super cute. I love how it is mesh in front. I love the sleeves. And I also ordered another top from them. So I'm really excited for that to come in. It's probably not going to come in for like another month. Three secondhand items. I got this really cute corset top. My boobs are like a little bit too small for this top. I might actually need to wear a bra with this. But I still love it. <laughs> okay, all these tops that I got are not suitable for winter. I have realized. Look at the details. I got this black velvet tie top. I've recently been really into tie tops. I don't know why, but I just have been. Got these jeans. These are really cute and they're flared at the bottom. It's really hard for me to find jeans that I like that suit like my body type and fit my waist. So yeah, these are great. And I also love how soft these are. I'm really excited about these because these are Maison Margiela dupes. I'm pretty sure I've seen them on Taobao, but I got off of Depop. What can I say? I love my camel toed shoes. So yeah, that's it for the haul. I also have a lot of new sweatshirts, sweaters, but half of them are my boyfriend's that he just didn't want. So I just took them. <laughs> Same. For the sauce, you just need a little bit of peanut butter, some black vinegar, some soy sauce, red pepper powder, and some sugar. Pour it onto your salad. You guys, I got this blender like two months ago and I've been obsessed with it. I've made so many smoothies, literally one every day. This is my baby. Dinner is ready. So I did this little digital painting a few weeks ago and it's referenced from this photograph by Susu Khan. I made stickers from it. So I'm gonna decorate all the jewelry boxes with it. They kinda cute. Would you rather believe in reincarnation and then or be silenced to like heaven or hell? I just want to fade away peacefully. Infinite Tsukiyomi, babe. What? Oh. 
Hey, did you finish Naruto? I never watched Naruto. Oh my god. <laughs> I have never watched Naruto. Why not? 